This is going to be a really simple tutorial and it's just showing you how to edit the back end of a page. There's a lot of focus on the front end and sort of how to do sections and blocks and whatnot, but there's a lot lurking in the back that you can edit and that a lot of people never seem to even touch. So I'm going to show you where that is, what's included and how you can make those changes yourself. Okay, so let's hop in to the back end of a page. Now to edit the back end, all you need to do is go into website and then you want to look for the page that you want to edit the back end of. So in this instance, I'm going to go with uh, resources. So I'm going to look at resources. We have just a, a random page that I put together for Six Figure Design Club, but we don't want to look at the front end. So usually we just click on edit up here and then we make edits to the front. What we want to do is make edits to the back. So we click the cog. And this is going to bring up the page settings. So first off, we've got general. We're going to go with page title. So this is what users see at the top of their browser. So let's, you know, in the tab, they'll see resources. The navigation title, that is what we're going to see on the back end. So here, where it says resources, I change it to blah, blah, like this. It's going to show up to us as blah, blah but to the user as resources. Now, if we double click, we can just change that quickly there. So if we go back into settings, then we've got URL slug. So the URL slug is what is at the end of your URL. So in this instance, it would be sixfiguredesign.club forward slash resources. And that's how someone would navigate to the site. Enable or disable page. What this means is basically, can anyone access the page? If you click disable, Nobody can access it except you on the back end. This is handy if you're building a page and you don't want anyone to be able to access it, you know, whilst it's under construction. And then when it's live, you can just go enable, bang, done. If you want to add a password to the page, so let's say you are building a page, but you want some people to be able to access it, you can share the password with them and you set the password in here. Then you've got the option to duplicate the page, which will just literally make a copy of the page. Uh, or set it as the home page, which does what it says on the tin. And then finally, another one that does what it says on the tin, you can delete the page by clicking on here. Then we go into SEO. So super simple. You've got the SEO title. Like imagine you're on Google or any search engine. This is what's going to come up at the top. So if I say resources for Squarespace web designers, that's what's going to come up. Now it's still called resources and the user will still see resources at the top of the page, but on search results, it's going to show this and then we can add the description. So you don't actually have to do this. You know, it can be automatically generated as it says here, but we have the ability to override that. We've got 400 characters to plug in. So let's say I just say resources for cool people to become even cooler designing websites. And then once I'm happy with that, I just hit save. Also, if you don't want a page to be indexed by Google or by any search, <laughs> any search company, then just click this. It's going to hide it from all search results. So if someone's looking for the page, it's not going to come up on search engines. So you can toggle that on or off. Then we've got your social image. So this is what comes up for folks who search for Six Figure Design Club. I can override that for this particular page by either searching for an image. So I can override that and put this image in and I can put, you know, this image in like so, or I can upload something directly from my laptop. So you can see here, now we have a preview. This is what's going to show up if someone shares this exact page. Now I'm happy for it just to show this. So I'm going to leave that empty. Then we've got advanced. So this is literally just for adding code. So if you need to put HTML or JavaScript into the header of your page, let's say it's, you know, HubSpot tracking or it's code like just specifically for this page, this is where you put it. And then once you're happy, you just hit save. And that is how you edit the back end of your page on Squarespace. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.